Hey you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you're like, where is she going with these old thin flimsy little braids? And let me tell y'all, this is probably, no, it's not even a probably. This is my favorite go-to protective, like true protective style. And I wanted to talk to y'all about like why it's so important to really wear this style and the benefits that um, it has and why I love it. So I'm not gonna keep laughing. Let's just get right into this video. So first I'm gonna show you guys just how I did it. It's gonna be super quick. I'm gonna show you what I used on my edges. I'm gonna show you what I use as well for my hair because I purposely use, you know, a certain product. Don't go anywhere. Let me get it planned right now. All right, you guys, so first things first, I'm starting off as beautiful as ever and starting off on freshly washed hair. My hair's been in these twists for a few days, so I'm just taking them loose before I blow dry. Um, so of course, adding a little bit of, not a little bit, I added a crap load of um, heat protectant. This is my favorite heat protectant to use. And then just going to finger detangle a little bit and then use the blow dry brush from Revlon. I know some people don't don't really care for this blow dry brush, but I love it. But you have to just make sure you are using it the correct way and also using it on low heat. So that's all I'm doing here. Of course, this is optional to blow dry first. I typically never blow dry my hair. You guys have seen me. I never put heat on my head, especially before I'm about to do a protective style. I think it's pointless. However, this go around, I knew I wanted a little bit of length first and I knew I wasn't gonna be getting my hair wet super fast so that that shrinkage wouldn't you know come too soon so i wanted to just go ahead and blow dry it first and then it also made it a little bit easier for um for me to part so here i'm gonna just start in four sections it just made it much easier to keep track of and then we're gonna go ahead and start braiding and twisting our hair so i'm using the michi um, curl defining cream this was the only thing i had left everything else was packed and shipped and this is my favorite gel at the moment, this gummy, this red gummy gel. I guess that's what it's called. I got off of Amazon. Y'all, we have been going through it like crazy. And by we, I mean my husband and I. I don't get a white cast from it and it just holds really, really well. So I will put this down below. I will link this gel down below in the description box. And of course, it'll be linked in my Amazon store. So um, just taking small sections, this is very self-explanatory, you guys. And um, I'm just gonna braid the smaller the section, the less I braided the hair down, I guess if that makes sense. Um, so I just did about an inch here and then I split it in half, added a little bit more gel for hold, and then I twisted the rest. I have a total of 80 braids in my head and each braid, um, each section started off with a braid. This makes it hold much um, longer. You get more wear out of your mini twist when you do a little bit of a braid first and then twist um, however much you want to so it's kind of up to you the back of my head is mainly braided most of the way down I it just takes a lot more to just keep braiding so that's why most of these twists especially of course towards the back of my head um, it's like half or three-fourths of it is braided and then the rest is twisted so keep that in mind but again it is totally up to you however you want to do it but I do recommend at least maybe doing an inch or two something along those lines um, if you want to keep this style in for a while of starting with a braid first so this is how we're looking after two little braids you guys this took me not as long as I thought it was it took me a day to do um, a few hours I watched a few um, shows on Netflix so I watched the Billy holiday with Andra Day while I was doing my hair that was so good and I also watched Aretha that was okay um, so I, I kept myself busy and just twisted my hair and took my time and it did not take me long so and it came out really well with your edges just make sure you are um, not braiding exactly like right on the hairline kind of brush the hair back a little bit and then start your braid um, that 
that will help ease the tension on there as well. Now I added gel throughout like every single braid from root to tip. Um, I just kept kind of adding gel so that I can get the length. And for hold, this is this this gummy, this red gummy gel. I don't know who makes it. I, I don't know what brand it is, um, but I think it's called gummy. That gel just, it, it held these little mini twists so, so well, you guys. So this is how we are looking after it's been all said and done. And I typically just wear my hair back in a ponytail and I am good to go. So just doing a little bit of my little edges, do a couple swoops and then stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips, a couple reasons um, to help maintain your length, help grow your hair um, and help with length retention as well. So just, just sit tight. Don't go nowhere. Don't click off. Everyone's look, everyone's twists are going to be different. This is why I'm wearing my hair down right now. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of like just with myself wearing my hair down like this. I will typically just pull it back in a ponytail and be good like that. But I wanted to show you guys just my hair and just the density of it because density plays a huge role in how we think our hair is gonna turn out. Um, I know it took me a while to kind of accept my density and I'd be like, what? well, my hair is growing. It looks thick. It looks this and that. Why don't I have big juicy twists and all that kind of stuff? I have really fine strands. I don't have thick strands. Um, even though it may seem like I have a lot of them, they're just really, they're really fine strands. When I do my hair like this or whenever I do any kind of like twist or something like that, it never looks as full as I want it to. So I just want to put that out there that it may look different from someone else's that you see on Instagram or Pinterest or whatever, and that's fine. So one of the first reasons why I love this style is simply because it's low manipulation. This style, hands down, doing mini twists, doing mini braids, anything like this has really helped me retain my length. And whenever I do it and whenever I keep up with it, so I'll do them and then I'll take them out for, you know, maybe a week or so, then I'll put them back in. And I do it like consistently for a few months my hair just thrives and i felt like at this point we're moving we move in just a few days now and i just you know it's just a lot happening i was like i need to do something with my natural hair underneath because it's too hot all the time to be wearing wigs and y'all this is really what i look like most days um with oh my god i didn't even finish my makeup was like everywhere and i did not get this off the top of my lid low manipulation styles help to maintain your length and help with length retention um whenever people say that their hair is not growing we've said it over and over and over again your hair is growing one it may not be growing as fast as the girls next to you because my hair grows extra extra slow and two you're not retaining your length so whether you're doing a whole bunch of wash and goes which you know i don't do but any style that you're really wearing your hair out um high puffs those kind of things i oh i did like i wore my hair in a high puff a couple weeks ago for like a whole week and i was like this is why i don't wear my hair out because it just gets so tangly for my hair and i just feel like i just end up losing so much hair so that's a, one of the reasons one of the very long-winded reasons that i love these mini braids that i did or these mini twists that i did so i can still do my normal like moisturize oil my scalp like that kind of thing with this hair like i could just take my spray bottle it just has water in it if you do have a good mix though <laughs> not too complicated let me know down below share it with the rest of us but i just use which i just got Raylo h2 up in here and then like some leave-in conditioner like I, or whatever your moisturizer whatever you want to use you can still do your normal stuff your normal routine and actually get every strand instead of just putting it on your hand and slapping it really at the top of your head because that's what most of us really do thinking that we moisturize our hair no we need to get all up in there and when my hair is in mini twists i feel like it just moisturizes my hair 
way way better than any other style you can still wash your hair like this you guys you should be able to maintain this style for some weeks okay not too long but for some weeks another reason why i absolutely love this style is because i do so many wig videos and i love my wigs i love switching it up i love my units i love being this girl and that girl and then coming back and just being myself you know like this all natural um it's because this style fits underneath my units i'm not the biggest fan with corn rowing my hair um underneath my wigs and leaving it for two major reasons the first reason is when i take my wig off and i want to go to the store i want to go out to eat or i want to just whatever i got cornrows in my hair and i'm sorry i just i'm not i'm not walking out with i'm not I, that's just not it's not gonna happen it's like i'm super limited if i cornrow my hair which is why i hardly ever do it and then two whenever i take my cornrows out i always feel like my hair is not as moisturized as it is when i do mini twists um i feel like my hair is always kind of on the drier side and i just Ugh, I just don't like that. You really have to pay attention to your hair and what it's telling you with these styles. Whenever I take these mini twists, mini braids out, whenever I do them, my hair is always super moisturized. It never feels dry. That's because I'm able to get to every strand. I'm able to really keep up with that routine of hydrating, moisturizing, you know, my hair daily or every other day. Um, I think when it comes to cornrows, I, whenever I do it, I try my best, but I'm not really able to get in the cornrows as much as I would like. And so I just kind of stay away from that style. My last reason why I think you should try this style is because it gives you a break. It gives you mentally a break from how you're gonna wear your hair to work, what are you gonna do with your hair this weekend, blah, 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 blah. It's just a super gentle style and it's easy to maintain. I do wanna say with, of course, you know, putting more water into your head, putting more liquids, your hair is not going to, or at least mine does not, it's not gonna stay this straight. I know it looks super stringy now, it doesn't look really full, um, but over time, that gel that I put in it, that's the reason why I added so much gel um, to each strand is to hold it. We're in the pool a lot this summer, we're in water, I'm taking a shower, like all that kind of stuff, my head is gonna get some water on it and that gel is really gonna come out faster than I probably wanted to. And then of course with daily spraying with hydrating my hair, it's going to puff up. It's going to slowly, you know, those braids are gonna get a little bit bigger, not too much, but a little bit bigger. And I'll eventually get a little bit more fullness um, in my hair, basically, that's what I'm trying to say. So keep that in mind as well. I think that's it for this video. <laughs> I do quickly want to say, you guys, I appreciate every one of you guys for riding with me this long, for always being super supportive. I feel like I have a really great community with y'all. I feel like y'all are my girls and I just feel, I just always feel so good when I get in front of this camera because I know that, you know, y'all support me and that just, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not really good with words but just know it means a lot to me. We're almost at 200,000, so share this video. Tell your mama, daddy, sister, brother to subscribe. All that great stuff, you guys. And I also want to say this is my last video that I am making here in Houston. Sitting on the floor, okay, because that's how I've been doing my videos. I just sit on the floor, y'all. It's nothing, I don't do anything too detailed to whatever. Um, y'all know me, I'm just, I'm super regular. I'm just gonna sit on the floor, talk to y'all and do my hair and all that good stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know where we're actually moving. But if you don't, you should be because you didn't miss out. But we are not moving to New York. We opted not to take an apartment there that we really love just because of space. We're moving to Stanford, Connecticut. Um, and really it's right there. <laughs> It's right there, um, right on the border, whatever you want to call it. So we just found a really beautiful spot and we are super excited about the location, about this new move. Darren, of course, will still be working in New York, but I had to, y'all, I was like, for them prices, 
I needed a little bit more space. So I hope the styles that I created in this space, which were some of my like best styles, um, I hope you guys loved and I can't wait to bring more styles to you, bring more of my life lifestyle content as well to you. And I'm excited for you guys to come on this journey with me. So that is it. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.